All right, guys, so it's springtime. It's a little bit too soon to fertilize, but it's a great time to do a soil test. Now, I've always used loganlabs.com, uh, but the soil savvy guys sent me a kit to try out, and I'm gonna see. I'll do a review comparison later on once I get the results. Um, but for now, I'm gonna check this out. Um, I do like, so when you do Logan Labs, you basically gotta print out a sheet, package it yourself, send it off, and I mean, that's fine, but I do like the consumer-friendly packaging they've got here. Um, so it's got the packaging already prepaid in there, a little scoop cup, and then uh, what's interesting is Logan Labs, you're just sending the soil. But with this, there's a little capsule in there and water, and you keep that with it, and that's it does something with the testing, which is, I don't know the science behind it, but it sounds like it's a, a different method of testing. So I'm curious to see um, the difference between the results. And what I also, I have seen Soil Savvy reports, what I like too is they give you a recommendation on the fertilizer. With Logan Labs, they give you the results and then you need to analyze those results yourself and uh, figure out what you need to apply from there. So I'm gonna give it a shot um, now. Hey boys, can you bring the tools over? Can you put your pants back down? Thank you. All right, so give me the little one first. Just stay right there. All right, so I do have a soil tool tool that you push down into the soil and then it, when you pull it out, you get the uh, sample from the four inch mark, which is where you wanna get soil samples. It works pretty good. Um, you can also use one of these, which if you look, it's about the same. Um, but this year, I'm gonna try using the pro plugger because I love this tool and uh, I'm gonna see if it makes it any easier now you will need an assistant to hold a cup for you and you're just gonna want to fill up the cup with soil I'm gonna go throughout the yard uh, we'll see how this goes. We're doing this. Whoa. Come here. Me too, yes. Yeah. All right, so got about a cup of uh, material in here. You want to make sure there's no sticks, twigs, or anything like that. And then I like to mix it up. So your your I the goal here is to get samples from around the yard, get more soil than you need because you need just this little scoop. Mix it up really well, so you're getting a good soil sample. There's this grass. All right, where's my assistant? Can you go get the box? All right, can you get the little uh, container that's inside the bag? All right, now there's a piece of paper in there. Can you get the piece of paper? There's a barcode on here that you copy over to your piece of paper. Got your card. Put it there. Oops. All right, take the card. So now I'm gonna open this up. I don't know why there's arrows on this. Hold this like that. So, let's see if we can get a zoom in on this. 
Look at the capsule in there. I don't know what it does, but it's in there. Take your scoop of soil, put it in there. Now you got some mud. Lid, please. Make sure it's nice and tight. We're good to go. You got a little uh, thing here, lawn. Check off the lawn box. Um, that's probably, the recommendations are gonna be based on what's in there. Look at that mud. All right, where's the envelope? So we stick it in the envelope. Gonna fill out the card off camera because that's boring. And then you just drop it off at the post office. That's pretty cool. Um, now, some things you're gonna wanna remember. I think I mentioned this already. You want the soil from around the four inch mark. Um, you don't have to be too crazy about measuring and all that stuff. Um, but the reason is that's where the nutrients that are uh, getting to the roots are gonna be at. And then you wanna take multiple samples that way. You know, if you take a sample over here and last year you happened to dump too much of a certain fertilizer there or something, uh, you don't want it to make the results too far off. And that's all you gotta do. They're gonna send you back, I think it's an email with your results in a PDF and you're good to go, um, which is awesome. Logan Labs, they also send a PDF, but again, there's no recommendation. So um, I'm so far, I'm liking this. We're gonna see what the recommendation says. All right, so that's all you gotta do. Um, now, the reason you do this is everybody's soil is gonna be different and it's gonna need different nutrients. And so you could be, I, I hear a lot of people that just like to put starter fertilizer down in the spring. Well, starter fertilizer has N, P, and K. Yeah, I thought N, P, and K in it. And uh, might not need that same balance. Um, so you don't wanna be wasting resources you also don't want to have you know an overabundance of one it does stuff to the the balance in the soil um, you can get really techy with this stuff but basically if you're way off on certain levels it can make the soil get too hard it can uh, cause other issues with the, the grass plants themselves so you want to have what you actually need to put down and the only way you're going to know is to do a soil test and so far I will say this has been very easy to do. Um, and they're on Amazon, so you can get it in a couple days, and that's pretty cool too. And I like easy stuff. All right, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun, making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.